In this video guys, we're going to be looking at the 30 sweatiest combos for Season 2. This season has to be one of the best Fortnite seasons of all time, and in this video, I'm not only going to show you some of the brand new sweatiest combos, but also some OG combos that are still very tryhard in Fortnite today, and we are also talking about combos that have never been featured on the channel before. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know what your favorite combo is in the comments down below. If you guys haven't already, make sure to go down and hit the like button and the subscribe button as well, and we'll be giving away a bunch of free battle passes if this video can reach 2,000 likes. But let's get started off in the number 30 position, and we have April O'Neil, and we're pairing this with the Banana Splitter. This is still a pretty new combo in Fortnite. It was introduced during Chapter 5, Season 1, so I still feel like this is quite new. The problem with this, though, is both of these items were added towards the end of that season, and since we just had the battle pass and a bunch of other amazing items have been added since then, I feel like a lot of people have sort of forgotten that this skin and this pickaxe even exist. I do really like it though. I feel like April O'Neil is a different skin. We haven't really had too many other skins like this added to the game before, especially skins that are wearing yellow clothing or the yellow overalls. I think that is a really nice touch, and this combo is definitely going to be try hard in the future. We then move on, guys, to one of the newest combos in the game, and this is Poseidon, and we are pairing this with the Cold Snap. Now, I don't know how try hard this is going to be this season. I feel like this is probably going to be known as one of the biggest meme combos of all time, but we still had to feature it on the channel. Poseidon is a really clean skin. They always do a meme skin in every single battle pass, and Poseidon is one of the coolest we've seen in a long time. I just love the way this looks. They have basically remixed Ripley vs. Sludge and made it into a muscly version. I think it is really, really clean, but they could have definitely added in another edit style where it was similar to Zeus and a bit more of the mythical legendary skin. Still though, all the edit styles for Poseidon are really sick, and you probably do want to use the default blue edit style with the cold snap pickaxe. I just feel like these items work so well together, but maybe not as good as our next combo, which is Pit Stop, and we're pairing this with the Harley Kitter. This has to be one of the most tryhard combos of all time, and the best thing about this combo as well is that I still feel like this is underrated in Fortnite today. We just never see that many people using Pit Stop. It has been in the game since Chapter 2 Season 4, so it definitely isn't a new skin anymore, but I feel like it is just so underrated, and we just don't see that many people using it today, and for that reason, it doesn't feature in the store as often as it should. It does have four different edit styles though, so the fact that it does only cost 1,200 V-Bucks is kind of amazing, and that is why we are pairing this with a simplistic pickaxe as well in the Harley Hitter. It's going to work with all of these styles for the skin, which just makes this even better. Let's move on the guys, and next up we have Nura, and we're pairing this with the Studded Axe. This is a brand new combo in Chapter 5 Season 2. I feel like this is sort of one of the more underrated skins that we have seen being added this season as well, but it could easily become one of the sweatiest skins in the future. This skin is really simplistic, it doesn't really have too much detail to it, which is what a lot of pros and streamers are looking for. We have already seen Typical Gamer and a few other pros using this as well, so I feel like the more often that they do end up using this, the better it is going to become, and hopefully the more attention that this skin gets as well. I think the Studded Axe is going to fit in with this really, really well, and it is an amazing combo, but not as good as our next one, and that is because we're going with Loveless, and we're pairing this with the Lovelorn Pickaxe. Loveless was an old Fortnite crew skin from Chapter 3. I really wish this was one of the newest Fortnite crew skins, because then we would be getting even more edit styles for this added as the seasons progress, and of course, as we move throughout 2024. Unfortunately, though, since this was added a while ago, we just have the one edit style for this. I think it is really clean, though. Wildcard was always a really cool skin, so they just made a female version, and it seems to be really, really good. The Love Lawn is going to fit in with this really well. I feel like the color styles match up perfectly, and even though there aren't any more edit styles for Loveless planned to come to the game in the future, this could always be one that does get edit styles as we move throughout Chapter 5. The Fortnite Crew Bundle do only set you back $10 as well. You also get a thousand V-Bucks for free. You get a Battle Pass for free as well, and of course, some really amazing cosmetics, so it is definitely worth it. If you guys do want to save some money, though, I feel like Summit Seeker Eevee and the Candy Axe might just be a little bit better of a combo. This probably hasn't been as popular as I thought it would be. I feel like because Eevee was such a good skin, I thought Summit Seeker Eevee would also become extremely tryhard and popular in Fortnite, but it just hasn't lived up to that just 
yet. I feel like that is because we only have one style for this. We actually did get a second edit style for this added a few weeks after it was introduced, and all it does is take her glasses on or off. They could have definitely added in some other color variants, or maybe even taken the jacket off, and that would improve it so much more. But the candy axe is easily going to be the best pickaxe for this, regardless of what edit style you are using. It fits in with the Winterfest theme of this really well, and is one of the most tryhard pickaxes of all time. Let's move on the guys to the number 24 position and we have Medusa and we are pairing this with Wix Katana. Medusa is also part of the chapter 5 season 2 battle pass and I just don't know how try hard this is going to be in the future. We haven't really seen too many pros or streamers using it which usually means it probably won't be the try hard skin from this season's battle pass but that does mean that one of the other skins is going to be try hard so make sure you guys watch all the way through to see which one that is. I still really do like the design of this, it fits in with the Greek mythology theme of this season so so perfectly and i honestly just kind of like how this skin looks i feel like the super edit style is going to be really good for this as well it is going to be a little bit of a grind in order to unlock it but i definitely think it is going to be worth it in the long run let's move on though to one of my personal favorite combos and this is chani and we are pairing it with the harley hitter i've talked about this combo so many times on my channel before chani is a truly amazing skin that was introduced when we had the first june collab i'm surprised that we haven't had a second june collab since the second movie was released a few weeks ago. I thought that would have been the perfect time to add an edit style for this skin or even just more cosmetics from the Dune franchise, but we haven't seen it so far. You could honestly use any pickaxe that you want with this skin as well. It is really simplistic and just looks so good, but I feel like the Harley hitter fits in with the color theme of this skin quite well. It is also another collab item, so I feel like if you are a collab fan, then this is going to be perfect for you. And the other cool thing about Chani is that even though it is a tryhard skin, it isn't really too popular, so not that many people know about it, and that is why I feel like it is going to be perfect for you guys to use today. You probably won't see too many meme players using this though, but one combo that is going to be perfect for meme players is Budge, and we're pairing this with the Bad Joke. I feel like this will become a little bit of a tryhard combo in the future as well. There have been skins like Fish Stick and Peely in the past that do end up becoming quite tryhard and popular at the same time, but also popular among the meme players, and I feel like Budge could be in the exact same same position. We actually got this in Chapter 5 Season 1 with the Birds of a Feather bundle. This was a really clean bundle and I just feel like Budge is the best skin from it. The Bad Joke is also a meme pickaxe, but if you wanted to use a pickaxe that is more known as a tryhard pickaxe, then the Star Wand will be the best choice. That's enough about meme skins though. I feel like we've mentioned a few already, so let's go to one of the more tryhard combos and this is Hannah and we're pairing it with the Leviathan Axe. Hannah is one of the more highly customizable skins that we are talking about in this video. It is pretty much one skin that you can buy for 1,500 V-Bucks, but it has a bunch of different unique customizations like we've never seen before. You can change the colors around on this, and of course, take the helmet on or off as well, which I think is a really cool touch. It isn't as highly customizable as something like Kaver or these superhero skins, but it is still cool enough where it is different from a lot of other skins and definitely worth spending 1,500 V-Bucks on. The Leviathan Axe is going to fit in with every single style for it as well, so it's a pretty easy choice for this combo. Next up though, we need to talk about Mysterious Fate, and we have the Slasher Pickaxe. Mysterious Fate is one of the newest skins in the game. It was added only a few weeks ago, right at the end of Chapter 5 Season 1. I feel like this is similar to April O'Neil, where it will just get forgotten about because we had so many amazing items added this season, and it was pretty much added like a week before Season 2 started. It has has pretty much the exact same design as one of the most expensive skins in the game, and that is why I feel like it could very easily become tryhard or a lot sweatier in the future, but right now it just doesn't have the popularity that it deserves. The Slasher is going to fit in with the color theme of this as well. I feel like it is a really underrated pickaxe at the moment and deserves to be a lot more tryhard, so it is definitely one of the best pickaxes for this skin. We haven't really talked about too many nail skins though, so let's move on to Zeus, and we're pairing this with the Hand of Lightning. This might not be a tryhard combo, but it might be one of the best looking combos that you see in Chapter 5, Season 2. Zeus is sort of the face of this season. He's pretty much at the front of all of the trailers, and I think it is a really cool skin, especially considering the theme of this is the whole Greek mythology thing, so that is quite cool. The pickaxe for Zeus was also really sick. I do like the way it looks, but I feel like the Hand of Lightning might just fit in with it a little bit better, and this is a Marvel pickaxe that we got back during Chapter 2, Season 4. Obviously, it'll never be available 
again because it was part of that battle pass. But if you guys do own it, then this is going to be an amazing pickaxe to use with this skin. Again, I don't really know how tryhard this is actually going to become in the future because not too many male skins, let alone male battle pass skins, become that tryhard, but I still like the way it looks. We have also seen a few pros and streamers using it, which is only going to help its popularity. But let's move on, guys, to our next combo, and this is Combat Tech Jewels, and we are pairing it with the Driver. We haven't really talked about this skin for a little while. I feel like it was so underrated when it first got added. We've had a few jewels type skins added to the game now, and all of them are really clean, but nothing is going to be the original jewel skin. Since that is never going to be available again though, I feel like Combat Tech Jewels is a really good secondary style for it. It was also added in a bundle, so it could feature in the store again anytime in the future. So hopefully if you guys are waiting for this to be added back, it will be added sooner rather than later. The only downside to it is it doesn't really have that many customizations, but if you are looking for a skin with a bunch of customizations, then you need to start using Caper and the Star Wand. Caper might be the most highly customizable skin we have ever seen in Fortnite. Not only can you change around the colors of this, but you can also add little stickers and emotes from your locker onto this skin as well, which just improves the creativity of this, and hopefully also improves the amount of people using a unique combo unlike anyone else. I feel like the problem with some of the more highly customizable skins is people end up using the same style, but with Caper that has definitely changed. I do like this skin a lot, I feel like it has dropped off quite a bit though already, and considering it was introduced in Chapter 4, that probably isn't a great sign. The style mod is just the easiest pickaxe to use with this as well because it is going to fit in with every single style that you can possibly come up with for this skin, and that is why I feel like it is the best combo to use. That takes us, though, guys, to the number 16 position, and we have 11, and we are pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife. I've been a huge fan of 11 ever since it was added to the game. We also never expected to get any more Stranger Things items added to Fortnite, but now that it is here, it is one of the better skins. We had the Demogorgon and Chief Hopper added in Chapter 1, but they never featured again since, which is so crazy. But now that 11 has been added to the game, I feel like they will feature more often. Most people are using the test lab edit style of this skin. So if you guys do want to stand out, I feel like the default skin would be a perfect one to use. And Leon's combat knife is just going to fit in with every single style. One collab skin though that I have been preferring a little bit more would have to be Padme. And we are pairing this with the Scully Scepter. Padme is without a doubt the sweatiest skin that we have ever seen from the Star Wars franchise. I cannot remember a time where where we had another Star Wars skin that was being used in the pro community like Padme has been. Sort of came out of nowhere as well. I feel like she has been in Fortnite for quite a while, but it has really only been over the last few weeks that this has gained some popularity in the more competitive community. I really like it though. I think Padme is one of the coolest Star Wars skins and one of the coolest Fortnite skins that we have. So I'm always a fan if these collab skins do end up becoming tryhard. We probably don't have too many good Star Wars pickaxes to pair with this though, and that is why I feel like the Scully Scepter is probably your best choice. The Star Wars skins might not return for a little while though, so if you do want to use one of the Battle Pass skins, then I feel like Artemis and the Spectral Axe is going to be a much better choice. Artemis might be the tryhard skin from this season's Battle Pass. It is one of the more unique skins we've seen in a really long time as well, and it is a really cool take on the Galaxy theme skins as well. There have been a bunch of galaxy theme skins over the last few seasons that I almost feel like people are sick of seeing galaxy skins being added, but what Fortnite did with Artemis was really cool where only parts of the skin has that galaxy effect. That is a really clean touch and I do think it is quite refreshing as well. Because there are so many different color styles for this skin though, you want to use a simplistic and a little bit of a unique pickaxe with this, and that is why I feel like the Spectral Axe is going to be a really good choice. But let's move on guys to a skin that is never going to drop off in popularity, and this is Aura, and we're pairing it with the Studded Axe. This is easily one of the sweatiest skins we are ever going to see. I don't know when we are going to see a skin that is added to Fortnite that is better than this. I mean, it was added in Chapter 1, Season 8, and it is still popular today. We got two styles for this when it was first added to the game, and then we got a third edit style added in Chapter 3, and you could use any of these styles with the Studded Axe. It is one of the best pickaxes to use for this, it is one of the quietest pickaxes in the game, and still extremely tryhard. So we may as well use this on our next combo as well, and this is ISO with the Studded Axe. 
Axe. This is a combo that has sort of shot up in popularity over the last few weeks after we saw Malabuka and a few other pros using it. I'm a huge fan of the way this skin looks though. It is so different to every other tryout skin in the game because it is very, very detailed, highly reactive and animated as well, which just makes it even better. You don't want to use a simplistic pickaxe with this and that is why I feel like the studded axe is a really good choice. But honestly, I feel like if you do want to use one of the more brightly colored pickaxes, that would also look really good. This combo will become a lot more popular in try hunt in the future. Let's move on the guys to the number 11 position and we have the Psycho Bandit and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. Out of all the male combos in Fortnite, this has to be one of the best. I don't know the last time we had a male skin that has been as try hard as the Psycho Bandit. It feels like this is always going to be one of those try hard skins as well and it is only becoming more and more rare because this hasn't been in the store since chapter 1 season 10. You did have to pay around $40 in order to get it so it is a little bit expensive but I feel like if everyone had the opportunity to buy it today, they definitely would. I love the way this looks so much. I feel like with a Borderlands movie coming out very soon as well, we will see it in the future. So if you guys are waiting for this to return, it seems like it could return very, very soon. Let's move on though to a little bit more of a unique combo and this is Valeria and we are pairing it with the Scratcher. The best thing about this combo is that you could get it for only 950 V-Bucks because all of these items were added to the game in the Chapter 5 series. Season 1 Battle Pass. I think this is really cool. Valeria was actually the tier 100 skin, which was a little surprising since we had Peter Griffin in that season, but I still think the execution of this Battle Pass was really good. Valeria is an amazing skin. It was definitely overshadowed though because we had Peter Griffin in the Battle Pass, but if you actually look at the edit styles for this skin, it is really cool. I mean, we have an edit style where you can transform into a different style just by using the emotes. The super edit styles for this skin are incredible as well and just made it even better but since it was part of chapter 5 season 1 we just don't see that many people using it today let's move on the guys to the number 9 position and we have the agency renegades bundle and we are pairing both skins with the leviathan axe in this bundle we got shady zady spy catcher siren and a remake of cobalt but no one has ever really used that skin so we only care about shady zady and spy catcher siren you do want to use a really good looking pickaxe with these skins as well and i feel like the Leviathan Axe is the best choice. The cool thing about this is that for both skins, there are two different styles. We have a white edit style and a black edit style for both. And that is why you want to use something like the Leviathan Axe. Regardless of what edit style you're going to use, it is going to work with this so, so perfectly. The downside of this though is that this bundle does set you back around $20. So it is a little bit expensive, but I still really like the way it looks. And hopefully you guys did end up buying it back during chapter three. So that takes us to the number eight position, guys. We have Hades and we are pairing this with the Hadean Key. Hades is an amazing skin and it is also the tier 100 skin from this season's Battle Pass. I feel like the Hadean Key just matches in with this so well, probably because it was designed for this, but still, I think it is a really good pickaxe to use on this skin and it's going to match in with all of the styles for this as well. It is just so hard to find a pickaxe that fits in with the style of the skin. I feel like it is really unique and unlike any other skins we have had for a while, and that is why the Hadean Key is going to be a really good choice. This might not be a tryhard skin in the future, but I just feel like it is tryhard right now because it is the tier 100 skin. So it is going to be a bit of a grind in order to unlock it, and probably only the sweaty players have this unlocked so far. One skin that isn't that hard to unlock though has to be the superhero skins, and we are pairing this with Yennefer's Megascope. Obviously, the superhero skins are not hard to unlock at all because you can buy these for 1,800 V bucks. We do see a lot of people using the same edit styles for these skins though, which is the only downside to them, I feel like people really need to start getting creative with them and changing around the way this skin works. Obviously, the fully white and the fully black superhero skins are by far the best styles. They have been the most popular since they were added in Chapter 2 Season 4, but I feel like people are starting to use some other colors like a fully yellow superhero skin, a fully blue, and maybe even multicolored superhero skins as well, which honestly I think is the coolest part. Hopefully, this trend continues during Chapter 5, and yet if this Megascope is just such an underrated pickaxe that we have had to pair it with the superhero skins. That takes us though to the number six position and we have the Polo Prodigy and we are pairing this with Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Now, even though the superhero skins have been incredible, I feel like they are starting to drop off a little bit and a lot of people are swapping 
these out to use with the Polo Prodigy. The Polo Prodigy sort of came out of nowhere. It has been in the game since Chapter 3, but it wasn't really until Chapter 5 Season 1 that people started to use this skin again, and now it is one of the more tryhard skins that we do see, with a bunch of people using this in tournaments, and of course the ranked game mode as well. We do have two styles for this, a white style and a black style. Personally, I think the white edit style has been more popular, but both of these are really clean. Catwoman's grappling claw is just going to fit in with both styles for this skin as well, so that is the best part about it. But if you guys do want to use a more OG skin, then you have to try out the Mogul Masters and the Studded Axe. Each one of these skins costs 1,500 V-Bucks, but that is probably the downside to them, because if these were added to the game today, it would be one skin with eight different styles, apart from just eight different skins. We have seen a few pros and streamers using the Mogul Masters as well. I feel like the Canadian Mogul Master is one of the more popular ones, so if you guys do want to use one that isn't really that popular, then I feel like the German Mogul Master, or maybe even the French Mogul Master, is probably the best one to use. That takes us, though, guys, to the number four position, and we have Siren, and we are pairing this with the Candy Axe. Siren has been in the game since Chapter 2, Season 2, and has been tryhard ever since. This skin does set you back 1,200 V-Bucks, but we just got a brand new edit style added at the start of Chapter 5, which improved this skin a lot. I feel like the red edit style is now my favorite one. It just looks so different to the original styles, and that is the best part about it, but I feel like it has dropped off in popularity just because it has been in the game for such a long time. The Candy Axe might not be the best pickaxe to use with these, but I actually kind of like the way it looks on the red edit style especially, so if you guys haven't tried this out, then I highly recommend using this in Season 2. We need to move on, guys, to the number 3 position, and we have Lara Croft, and we are pairing this with the Ebon Heart Battle Axe. This could honestly be the best Battle Pass skin we have ever seen in Fortnite, especially from a tryhard skin point of view. So many pros and streamers still use this skin today, which has never been seen before with a Battle Pass skin. I mean, usually Battle Pass skins stop being popular once that season ends, but Lara Croft has been popular since Chapter 2, Season 6. The default style always seems to be the one that people use, so if you guys do want to change this around and use a unique edit style, then I feel like the gold one is going to be the best one to use. Ebonheart Battle Axe is a really clean pickaxe as well, and it's just going to fit in with all of these styles for this, which just makes it even better. That takes us to the number two position, guys, and we have Lana Lane, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. Lana Lane might be the best Fortnite crew skin we ever see. I mean, we are only getting more and more styles for this over the next few months as well, which improves it a lot, and I cannot wait to keep using this over the next few seasons. The Fortnite crew bundle is so worth it. You basically pay $10 and get a bunch of brand new cosmetics. You also get a battle pass completely for free and a thousand V-Bucks, which is a really nice touch. So basically, by by buying the Fortnite Crew Bundle, you can almost get every Battle Pass completely for free, and also some other really cool skins. I think it is so worth it. The style mod is going to fit in best with the default style of the skin, but you can still use every single style that you want, and it is still going to look extremely tryhard. And finally, guys, let's move on to the number one position, and we have Aphrodite, and we're pairing this with the Vault Guardian. Aphrodite is the best skin from this season's Battle Pass. It has been the most popular one. It has been the most tryhard one as well, and if I had to pick a skin to use over the next few seasons from this season's Battle Pass, Aphrodite would definitely be the one. The default style is incredible, it has been so tryhard and popular, especially in the pro community. We've seen people using it in tournaments all the time, and I just think it is such a good Battle Pass skin. I feel like the pink edit style might not be that popular among tryhard players, and the super edit styles will only improve this skin in the future as well, but for right now, the default edit style is the best one. But there you guys go, that is my video talking about the 30 sweatiest combos for season two make sure to let me know which one is your favorite and i'll see you guys in the next video